Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Long time no see. So as you guys know, regular viewers, my personal life has taken a little bit of a twist. I did take some time off over Christmas break as well to spend time with family and decided just to take some time off and wait till the new year to come back strong and start fresh and new. So here we are, Boomer's out here with me. We've got the Ram set up. As you guys can see, we're really high on this side. I've got the truck backed right up to a rock berm on the side of the ocean. So that side's dipped way down. We've got a lot of travel on the suspension. The other side is squashed right up, but I did that so the tailgate would be low because this berm is up quite high. And I've got this epic ocean side view. Once we get the wood stove fired up and get everything nice and cozy in here, I'm gonna be hearing the little gentle slaps of those waves hit the ocean side there on the shore all night long, plus this epic, epic view in the winter. So let's get a hot coffee on the go.
All right, guys, got my hot cup of coffee on the go right now, which is quickly cooling down because it is negative eight degrees Celsius out right now. It doesn't look terribly cold. There's not even steam coming off my coffee anymore. That's how quickly it cooled down. So Boomer's loving it though. He's running around here playing. I've got the truck positioned here that he can actually jump off the tailgate this trip. So that's pretty interesting. He can almost jump in. I'm sure later on he'll figure out how. He tried once, he almost made it. He'll get it, he can jump pretty high. But uh, he's got the whole sleeping area right now to basically crash out on, have a nap, whatever he likes to do. Uh, he'll probably play for quite a while though. So let him do what he wants to do, tire him out. But right now, this hot cup of coffee, this view, such a gray day, moody skies, nice soft kind of streaking clouds just layered in the distance, which looks pretty awesome. Tonight is going to be very enjoyable. I've got the wood stove. I do have to collect a bit of firewood though because these compressed logs that I use, I have one, two, three, four, five, probably six of them. Um, I did sleep in the truck last night at a different location. So I do still have to clean the inside of the truck a little bit, but I burned a lot of these last night. These work excellent. They're just compressed logs of sawdust basically. No binder, no fuel, no uh, accelerants or anything. It's just bark and wood fiber. They burn really, really well. So I've got a few of those. I'm gonna try and save those for late tonight and early morning because they're super easy. Toss them in, light it, boom. Truck gets really nice and warm. Uh, but that means I need to collect some firewood. Being out here on the shore, I'm looking at a couple trees and things in here and behind the truck, there is a little bit of firewood source, not a lot. So I did bring the little mini electric chainsaw as well as my handsaw. Uh, I'll grab one or the other and um, basically collect some firewood in just a moment. I want to enjoy this. Boomer's getting a little cold, so he's gonna have to jump inside, get him in the in the blanket there, and get all that stuff squared away just before we start cooking some supper because it's gonna get dark really, really early. It was a long drive out here, four wheel drive, going through some nasty, thick, thick, greasy mud. Uh, massive water hole, holy, that thing was deeper than I thought. That came right up almost to the top of the tire. Those are 40 inch tires, just uh, if anyone's wondering. So it was a deep hole and it was long. So I didn't know if I was gonna get stuck in the middle or not and getting out it wouldn't be fun it'd probably be up to almost my waist so that's kind of the fun of overlanding by yourself you never know what kind of trouble you're going to get into sometimes good sometimes bad just get a full send it and find out so cheers guys i'm going to enjoy some coffee enjoy this ocean right here and uh, catch up with you in a few minutes
All right, guys, I've got a fair bit of firewood collected here. I just put some of it inside of a bin. I've got twigs and a couple pieces around here. Some of this stuff is still slightly green. Like I can smell this piece, I can feel the weight in it and it does smell quite tiny. Like it's still green. So that will still burn, but it's gonna have to bake in front of the wood stove for a while. Very limited with trees out here. I'm just kind of collecting off the dead limbs on the trees. Not really a whole lot, but I've got enough wood that I can light the stove now and basically cook either on the Trangia or on top of the wood stove and uh, keep my hands warm, keep Boomer warm and just get things set up for this evening. So I do have to get the pipe set up inside. What I've been doing lately, if I can get this out of here, <clears throat> is I've been burning a lot of those logs that I was telling you about. The pipe does foul fairly quick in comparison to softwood, believe it or not. So what I've been doing is just taking limbs, long branches, um, long branches, not like that, but what I've been just chimney sweeping them. So I just pop them in there, sweep them through all these branches, we'll scrape the insides of the pipe. And uh, it takes two seconds, clean it out, pop it back in there. I did burn it this morning, so it is quite dirty. It does need to be cleaned out. The only spot that really creates an issue is the holes in the spark raster given that they're small, but that just takes a couple seconds of just kind of poking the stick in here, clean all that crud out of there, kind of give it a little tap tap, and get all that little creosote stuff out of there. So if you guys are gonna be using these bricks or these logs, clean your pipe regularly. I would say 24 hours, clean it, definitely. So I burned in this stove probably a good, I wanna say 14 hours and uh, I didn't clean it, so I'm just cleaning it right now. And it's not terrible, I mean, I could burn it again, but the problem with not cleaning it is it'll burn really, really good when you light your stove, but then later in the evening, it, uh, it almost seems like it doesn't wanna burn. And the reason for that is your wood's not wet, uh, given that these are logs from the store, they're bone dry. Uh, they're not wet, but it's, it's basically, it's being choked out, there's not enough draft going out the pipe so if the fire can't breathe it just goes out so if you're having issues with that check your pipe check your spark raster first and uh, chances are it's because it's not clean and as soon as you clean it that fire will take off ripping and roaring again so that's what I'm doing now so I don't have to do it at like midnight <laughs> I don't want to crawl out here in the middle of the night and have to clean this take it off with gloves and all that stuff so get this cleaned out oh yeah filthy and then uh, pop the cap off the top of the truck, get the pipe in there and get the fire going.
All right, guys, now that I've got the wood stove going, I can actually feel the heat building just off those twigs. It's gonna burn quick, but it's throwing a lot of heat, especially once this gets shut. Not worried about heating the truck right now. I just want something to warm my fingers and hands. Um, so old time viewers or long time viewers, I should say, you probably know that I do run a diesel heater in the truck as well. Not very often, but I do do it. Um, I have a porthole on the passenger side of the cap, the four inch hole much like the one up top actually it's a little screw cap and i have a pass through for a 12 volt plug so what i do is i put the diesel heater outside on the ground and i run a four inch pipe from the diesel heater in duct it into the to, to the camper and run it to the jackery battery because i had the inside of the uh the 12 volt pass through is inside here and basically i have hot air diesel heat hot air when i don't want to use the wood stove that's beneficial because I don't have to go in locations that need wood. Unfortunately, I don't have it with me today. And, uh, well, to be honest, I like the wood stove more. Snap, crackle, the smell, just the effort of getting the wood sometimes is worth it. You know, it's just, it's a, it's a nice feeling and it provides some light. So when here at nighttime, the whole thing glows, it's beautiful. But yes, I do have a diesel heater. Just mentioning that because I know a lot of people are probably going to mention, dude, you should get a diesel heater. I do have one. I run it mainly in my Jeep rooftop tent setup. And I like to use the wood stove here in the truck. So now that this is burning nicely, I did put a couple of the, the more green pieces of wood right in front of the glass. So that'll dry out over time. And we'll let that do its thing. It is time to start on supper. <clears throat> Actually, no, sorry. I need to make water. I ran out of water. I use all my water for my coffee, so I'm going to take my Trangia bowl, collect some of the snow around here in clean areas, probably more towards in the woods, and uh, get one of these pots full, pop it on top of the wood stove, slowly make water, pour it in the water bottle, it's a long process, but while that's doing that, I can start on supper. So I'll use one pot for supper, one pot for snow, and uh, just kind of make some water, make some food, so let's get started.
All right, guys, supper is finally ready. Got Boomer his food there, got my rice. I made Indian style rice as usual because I love it. I've even got two little nan breads here that have been warming up in this pan. The heat from the wood stove. Rocking pretty good, guys. I gotta say, it's definitely feeling good. So I'm gonna kick back and eat some food. It's freezing cold outside right now, so I wanna get this while it's still warm. Mmm. You want some of that? Whew. Mmm. All right guys, supper time is totally finished with and as you guys can see, the day got away from us. Nighttime came in super fast. So we are basically huddled inside of the truck. We've got all the dishes set up on this side. Supper's all done, cleaned up. I've got the Trangia over here. I do have a window open right now that I do need to close. Um, the tailgate's wide open right now, by the way. So I still gotta get my shoes off and actually get in and shut the tailgate. But just to give you a look at what's going on for tonight, Got two battery units in here. I've got the Blue Eddy EB3As. Those are 268 watt hours a piece. Boomer, come. And then I've got the Jackery 2000 Explorer Pro, um, which is hidden under here. So that's a very large battery unit. And that runs uh, basically all the other things, like charging batteries and uh, all that fun stuff. These two battery units run all the stuff inside, the lights, charging phones and whatever. Uh, <laughs> the cold is getting to us right now. So it is negative 10 negative 10 right now celsius so it's not terribly cold but it is cold when sitting in front of the wood stove and that cold air comes in you really feel it we have dipped into some of this wood it is nice and dry as you guys can see it's burning right now and we've got loads of those logs left for overnight and in the morning for coffee and uh, as you guys can see boomer is ready to go to sleep <laughs> he's had a long day running up and down the beach so that's basically what we're gonna do. Supper was great, like I already said, everything's cleaned up and it's time to get this tailgate shut. There was no sunset, but now looking out across this ocean, on the other side, there's a few houses and the light trails are just streaking across and the sky is incredibly full of stars. No clouds up there right now, beautiful stars popping. So I'm gonna shut the tailgate, but I'm gonna leave the glass open and I'm gonna nestle my feet right up against the wood stove, right up against the tailgate and stare out at those stars for a little while and then close up and uh, probably watch a movie and then go to sleep. So we're going to say goodnight now guys and we'll catch up with you first thing in the morning for coffee.
Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful, silent, silent morning out here today. So being right on the edge of the ocean, it is a little brisk still. The temperature did come up actually, so it's not as cold. Still cold, the wind's pushing in this way. Not so much wind, but like a breeze. Uh, the tide is out, looking at the beach now. There's actually a little bit more beach and pretty, uh, pretty interesting sandy spot right in front of me and a little over here. So it's not all rock, which I didn't know. I thought it was all rock. Uh, last night's sleep, beautiful. This wood stove, I stoked it up probably at about midnight, 11 o'clock maybe, uh, and it burned for a good three or four hours. I didn't bother loading it after that. Curled up in my down sleeping bag, nice and warm. And uh, waking up to this, beautiful gray day. Little, little bit of snow flurries, tiny bit. Um, the truck was frosted up earlier before I lit the stove and it all melted off. So definitely a very interesting experience out here. I like this beach, I gotta say. Now there are houses across the ocean, little inlet here, this side's pretty much vacant. There's nothing on this side, thank God, because that's where I am. The other side, there's a few houses, so at nighttime the lights are there, but it's actually interesting. I thought it was gonna bother me, but it made these really nice little neat streaks of light come across the ocean water, which is really actually pretty cool. And then the stars last night, the stars were epic. Really, really cool. I sat up against the tailgate with this open, looking up at the stars for probably about an hour, an hour and a half. And uh, yeah, I got a little cold, so said that's enough of that. So Boomer's out here right now running around. He just had his breakfast. I had mine. I made oatmeal way earlier inside of the truck. And uh, we're ready to start the day. So I got this hot coffee on the go right now. I'm going to be ahead of the game today. I'm going to drink this while it's hot instead of having cold coffee like I did yesterday. And this stove is ripping right now. Beautiful thing about having a stove in your truck. It gets toasty warm and dry. Dry out all my shoes, my pants, my jacket, everything last night was awesome. And just the glow that this stove pushes, just the light emitting from the window is beautiful. So cheers guys, morning coffee, and enjoy a little bit of this oceanscape. All right, guys, coffee is basically finished up with. Got a little bit in here, but it is getting time to start packing up. Not doing anything crazy or exciting this morning other than getting out of here. It is beautiful, but it is time to go. So one thing I want to mention, the wood stove. So right now, not a lot of flames, but that thing is full of hot coals. And it is pumping some heat very nicely. How do I get the stove emptied out? if I need to take off in a hurry is a question I get asked a lot. So what I do is leather glove, man, real simple. So I carry uh, two pairs of leather gloves actually because this one actually burned the stitching, which is kind of less than fortunate. I burned my finger a lot. Um, <laughs> so I just put my hand in the stove, grab the coals, dump them on the ash pan, dump them out on the ground. So I'm here on the beach. I mean, the snow, cobble, rock, it's not gonna create any issues. So that's all I'm gonna do is take my gloves, reach in there, grab the coals, dump them out because I really don't wanna wait around for that to burn out. There's probably at least an hour of burn time left in there. It is quite efficient. The draft and damper's wide open. So yeah, uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I've gotta get all those coals out of that stove and then I'm gonna get the pipe out. I will mention the pipe did not foul up last night, which is really cool. I did not use all of the logs either. I have three of those compressed logs left over. I could have burned more throughout the night, but realistically it gets so hot in there when it's like negative eight, negative 10. Once it gets to negative 20, then it's golden. Uh, so last night I had this side window pretty much all the way open. And I was just chilling in there, relaxing, having a good time. And then I damped the stove down, shut the window, cause I didn't know if it was gonna rain or snow or anything like that. Um, temperature did come up, like I said, so. You never know here in Nova Scotia on the ocean what the temperature is going to be or what the weather's going to be. You could have four seasons in like two hours. Sometimes it's like that. So yeah, that's how I deal with that. Leather gloves, very simple. Just grab the coals, toss them out, off you go. So that's what I'm going to do. Finish up my coffee, uh, grab those coals, deal with the pipe, straighten up the back a little bit. I'm probably just going to do most of it when I get home to be completely honest. 
and uh yeah, so this is the first trip of 2024. I have been out a lot recently, but I just haven't been filming anything. I wanted to take some time to myself, enjoy my family, just mentally just disconnect from business and work, spend time with my kids, spend time with my friends. Um, I'm in a new location now, and I just, I really, really enjoy it. It's very busy, hustle and bustle, keeps my mind going. So living in the city is, uh, is definitely something that I think I needed. I really did need, I needed that disconnect of like work and solo quiet time to like crazy hustle and bustle to keep my mind going when I'm off. Um, working out really well. So boomers around here somewheres. He does what he wants. Uh, so yeah, that's basically where I'm headed. Uh, I've got to get home, got to get unpacked, get everything cleaned up, get the video out to you guys. Let me know what you want to see for upcoming Overland style videos. We've got the Ram, we've got the Jeep. We want to be putting those two to uh, very, very good work use. And with this winter season, the Jeep is definitely enjoyable. But I want to hear what you guys want to say uh, about overlanding. So let me know what you guys think of location, style of camping. Let me know and I'll see what I can do in the future. Until then, peace out guys. I'll catch you in the next video.